Welcome to Mob Apples. Have you searched for how to bypass iCloud Lock iPad 2? There are many sites but not clear. So we will show you how to bypass iCloud iPad 2 very clear and full detail schematic. Note, this is not work for iPad 2, Wi-Fi only. To be honest, the process isn't very hard. But you still need to be careful on taking apart iPad if you have ever done an iPad disassembly yourself, as there are some differences. Now we will walk you through from start to finish. First, you'll need some special tools so as to take apart your iPad, including the professional screwdrivers, hair dryer, suction cup, triangle case opening tool, plastic pry tool, tweezers, screwdriver, Metal pry tool. Now power the iPad off and use hair dryer to warm the iPad digitizer for about 5 minutes to loose the adhesive. Gently gash a gap between the digitizer and the rest of the device with the metal pry tool. Press the suction cup on the digitizer around and pull up on the suction cup gently to wedge the triangle case opening tool. Lift the digitizer up gently and undo the four screws on the four corners with screwdriver. Once the screws are removed, use suction cup to pull the LCD up gently and use a screwdriver to undo the three screws holding the shield. Use plastic prying tool to disconnect the LCD connector. Now the LCD screen is free. Remove the digitizer by disconnecting the two connectors. Use tweezers to peel off the black tape to disconnect one connector under there and undo 10 screws to remove the Bluetooth antenna, long end, and Wi-Fi antenna, short tone. Unscrew the three screws to remove the metal shield and disconnect the front camera flex cable ribbon next to the battery. Remove the gasket covering the front camera and undo one screw to release the earphone jack. Disconnect the rear camera connector on the motherboard and take out the front camera with the earphone jack. Disconnect the connector to remove the microphone with the pry tool and uses the tweezers to take out the side keys flex cable. Disconnect the connectors and undo the screws of lightning port and gently pull up the motherboard. Remove the two loudspeakers with the tweezers and take out the rear camera. Undo screws to remove the side keys with flex cable. Finally, we have an iPad motherboard. Take out the motherboard. Now we have to find resistors responsible for border ID. On model, A1396, GSM, remove resistor, R1205. On model, A1397, CDMA, remove resistor, R1205 on the spotter. R1204. You will turn off the modem and change identity of your iPad. Warning. Be careful. If you are unsure of your skills, entrust this work to professionals. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget like, comment and subscribe.